welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Kyle Harrison. What should we keep an eye on here? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Here's the veteran second baseman, Cattell Marte. As the lefty gets to work. That one misses, and it's one to know. And he deals. Aye. Belly left that change up off. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Conforto pulls that one down, and there's one down. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. In that cleanup spot, a key piece for this club, Christian Walker. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy is always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Not in time. He's safe. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage, put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. Here's Guriel. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. No. There's a ball. Throw. They're safe. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. That's in there, and the count one and one. there has got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. Riel gets a piece. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That's a base hit. Carroll rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's 1-0. Back-to-back -back singles, anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One down, runner at first. And now Christian Walker. Gets the call. That's strike one. Out there to center. Solaire gets under it. Two away. That is good. The left fielder, number three, Jock Peterson. And now Jack Peterson.
Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third, and he grabs it foul. Guriel, the runner at first with two gone. On the ground to short. They take the force out, and that is the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy, and today on the hill, Merrill Kelly. What do you have on him? Well, he's got great stuff, but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time, high leg kick, and by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of him. We go to the bottom of the first, and now here's the veteran DH, Wilmer Flores. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Up and in, and that's ball one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. And now two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Still two and two after the foul ball. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. A little bit high. Three and two now. Lamont Wade Jr. up next. Three two down. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now he launches a throw over his head. And this ball is going to wind up out of play. Well, that was a throw that just shouldn't have been made. They scored a single and an error, so the official scorer doesn't believe a good throw would have gotten out, and neither do I. We can't hear it from up here, but I wonder if anyone was telling him just to eat the throw. You know, that's where communication on the infield can sometimes help out a ton. Lamont Wade Jr. in the box now. Take strike one. No outs. Runner on second. a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Man at second. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Jorge Soler up at the plate. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. 
Well, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just let it travel a hair more. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Oh, and he lost the handle on that one. Right, we talk about throwing the hands, but not to bat, man. You want to hold on to that thing and you can see his teammates over there. If he doesn't come through with the knock, he's going to get some business when he goes back to the dugout. Right-hander kicks, deals, one and one and two. Runner at second here, one gone. On the ground to the left, and it's just foul. That was close. Another one-two. And another ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Fights it off. You'll see another. Right-hander deals, swings and misses, struck him out. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Michael Conforto will climb in. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Ball one there. At the belt and fires. And that's downstairs and outside. Runner at second, two down. Trying to check his swing, appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Two two now. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Headed for the play. Here comes the throw. He comes across to score. The Giants tie it up. It's one one. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So two down. Matt Chapman, the next Giant to hit. This one in the air. Marte should have it. Nabs it. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in San Francisco, new inning getting started. And Eugenio Suarez is up to hit down. Suarez goes 5 feet, 11 inches, 32 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. The lefty fires. Ball one, no strikes. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The why to kick the pitch. That one that's off good. the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Out to short Ahmed. 
One out in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Gabriel Moreno. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One out, base is empty. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And now it's even up. It's a good take. Swings and misses. Pulled the string of a changeup. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location, but the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Strike one. I got one ball, one strike. All tied up here at the top of the second. And he dodges that fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a base hit. And that extends the inning. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Brogan. These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. The batter now, Kevin Newman. 1-0. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. McCarthy back on a dive. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Run around the move. Pitch nope, misses inside. Bad. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in, and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. McCarthy on its second with two down. Ripped on a line. Conforto makes the grab and that's the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks. Score remains deadlocked at one. Now it's the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. Kelly back to work. The 0-1. And a swing and a miss. 
Eric Summers Gill with home plate duty of this one. Kind of known for being generous with the corners, Chris. You know, I think that used to be a lot bigger deal in past eras where pitchers were working more in and out with their pitches. But yeah, we'll see if those corners come into play in this one. Ball hey, one. no pitcher's going to argue at all. One ball, two strikes to count. Righty to the plate. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, anytime one of your hitters gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. This is outside. Ball one. Kicks and fires. Hey. With the go ahead run at first, bottom half of inning number two. Hey. Swings and misses. That is strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. He deals. Routed to third, could be two. There's one to Walker, and that's two. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Chase that time. Two out spaces empty. Next offering is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Skips in the dirt. This one in the air. Suarez has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. We play two full innings and we're tied 1-1. And we're back. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. Harrison back to work. And that's outside. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. One and one. And a pitch. Up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. This is Corbin Carroll. Reached on an infield single his first time. That's in there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. the 1 Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. 
makes the catch and there's one gone. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it but I think that velocity at the end just beat him instead of a line drive or something hit deep. It's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. Guriel, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Over to first, and he saved. pitch that's out to center field base hit lead runner around second throw into third throw comes in quickly holds that go ahead run at third and there's still one away hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that I can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. And now it's Christian Walker. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. Fought off foul. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Pitch misses there, and it's one and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two on, one out. Not close with that one. Two and two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Here comes a pinch. Hard ground ball, base nine. Runner from third comes across. It's 2 1. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Here's Jack Peterson. He's 0 for 1. That one clips the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Left-hand hitter waits and fouled off. And a pitch. And that one is in the dirt. Now one and two. One out. Runners at first and second. Liner. Base hit. Runner around third. He'll score easily, and it's three to one. 
Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one fouled off. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And now the lefty swinging a foul straight back. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Not even close there. Now one and two. Runners are at the corners, one away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. Now up next for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And that's in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. In the air right field. And that is a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. That one, one missed. Two strike. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Two outs. Strike three, got him swinging. They limit the damage here. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Giants one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Nick Ahmed here to hit. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. And that drops in for a strike. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. The wind of the pitch. Lifted in the air now the left side. Fair ball! Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but it gets the job done. And he just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. And now it's Wilmer Flores. Hey. 
Strike one. Oh, and one. That oh. one misses. And now it's even oh, one and oh, one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one to Walker, and that's two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. So here's Wade now. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on here in the last half of the third. Strike two. Left hand batter waits. And now one and two. Nobody on. Stays alive. The wind and the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here in San Francisco, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jake McCarthy. McCarthy. The pitch. And ball one. You know, these D-backs doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Line drive, and it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double, and his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. So, man aboard, Kevin Newman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's safe. Throw to second, save. There's a strike. Oh, one's the count. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. The oh. shortstop takes a ball. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Jordan Hicks up and loosening in the pen. Miller, a left-hander, also throwing.
the one two. That's inside. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. Here's a 2-2. Runner takes off for third. Pitch misses. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him, and right there, still in third base, probably caught him off guard a little bit. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing pad that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Cattel Marte nope. up to the plate. First pitch, just misses. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. That's in there. And a count one and one. Now he breaks his bat. Estrada snags it for the second out. Corbin Carroll digs in now. One for two. Check swing go. of the first pitch. Look down to third. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. Back up the... Oh, that got him! And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Runner at first with two away. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. First it's pitch misses. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. Rudder takes off. Pitch inside. Save it second, and that was not close. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Carroll stands at second with two gone. And the pitch. Hard hit down the line and left. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Giants one. Bottom of the fourth, and now it's going to be Jorge Soler. The Giants in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That's down and in. With all these Giants showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Now a check swing at the 1-1. One, one. Look down to first. Didn't go. And he deals. 
And ball that one three. missing low. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And there's ball, ball four. four. Thank you, mate. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Ball, Ball one, no strike. And the 1 0. Right through there for a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And now it's 1 and 2. And another ball. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Nobody out, runner at first. Next offering misses down and away. And here's a 3-2. The punch out there. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the fire rings him up for the backwards K. Chapman nope. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Count one and oh. The D-backs leading by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That one out. not close. Yeah, that's ball two. He was late there. Strike one. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Foul ball there. Two gone now. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Pulls that one foul. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. One left for San Francisco, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Back here at Oracle Park, and now the first baseman, Christian Walker. Christian Walker. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. 
Well, these Diamondbacks, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've been lining the ball all over the ballpark, and unfortunately, sometimes it's right into a glove. But Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. And they tack one on the board. It's 5-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Kyle Harrison won't go any further tonight. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher on now, Jordan Hicks. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And Jack Peterson stands in. And first offering is fouled off. The 0 1. Ball one. And that one in the air center field. Solaire snags it. And there's one away. Now back. The third baseman. Eugenio. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Hicks, 27 years old, and he was a third round pick back in 2015. That misses. One and one. One out, base is empty, and a run in. And we're at the top of the fifth. Not close with that one. And the count's even at two. the second out. Next to hit for Arizona, Gabriel Moreno, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Swings through that one for strike one. Boom, that's oh, cheddar, down. baby. Right-handed reliever That's up and ball. in at one and one. Yeah, one ball, one strike. Yeah. A little out front there as he swings through. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two outs. Two oh, balls, two there. strikes to count with two outs. And the pitch. Brown ball to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground.
the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Another run for Arizona with this bomb. It's now 5-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth and digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. The right hander back to work. That one catches the corner for a strike. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Brandon Fat getting loose out there. Jarvis getting cranked up as well. On the ground to first. Walker takes it to the bag. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The catcher, Patrick Bailey. Patrick Bailey, the next giant to hit. He popped out his first time. That one's in there. That's strike one. Side corner for a strike. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Pitch in the dirt, and the count one and two. Just missed. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. And another ball. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Good job to fight that one off. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Payoff pitch. On its way to the corner. And a foul ball. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. That one gets down for a hit. So he battled through a long at bat and earned himself a hit. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in at bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Ahmed batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. 